Well, two days ago, it was 70 degrees and sunny, and I biked in shorts and a t-shirt, and today, it's snowing. It's not sticking, but it is definitely snowing, and that is absolutely terrible. But I'm on my way home from the coffee shop, just packing some more coffee, getting some more shipments out. I'm sorry if it's windy. This mic, they don't make a, uh, a dead cat for it yet, so we deal with a little bit of wind noise. Eee. Um, but today, uh, I was just, yesterday I was kind of reflecting on the fact that all of my uh, photo shoots that I had coming up have all been canceled, of course, and uh, it has given me an opportunity to look back at some of my old shoots, trying to get some of my photos organized and uh, edited up. I realize I have thousands of photos that I've never shared because I just haven't had the time or the energy to go through them. And so yesterday I started that process. I am nowhere near done going through those photos, but I did go through a photo shoot that I wanted to share with you guys, but I'm starting to freeze, so I'm gonna jump in the car and head home, and uh, we'll finish up this conversation there. made it home um, it's been like the weirdest day of weather it's sunny one moment and snowy the next moment and uh, I guess that's what weather's like in Minnesota um, but this last photo shoot I was talking about it's with this new project that's just getting started they're actually shipping already um, but it's called side hustle salt She's a local rapper here in the Twin Cities and she started this seasoning salt company and she makes these amazing seasoning salts and it's called Side Hustle Salt. So I got to do a photo shoot for her and uh, I'm really excited with how these turned out. This was the first product um, photo shoot that I did with my Canon EOS R, which I'm filming on here. And then uh, at the time I only had the 35mm 1.8 RF and uh, I was a little nervous going into a shoot without having some more options in my bag, but I kind of knew what we were doing and the macro capabilities on the 35 really lended itself well to this shoot. I wish I would have had uh, like a 100 mil macro just to be able to get a little bit closer, um, but honestly, I think this lens did the job great. I got enough, I got like portraits of the salt packaging, um, type of shots, I also got some macro shots, so really happy with how they turned out. Now the goal of this photo shoot was to shoot something that was a little bit more um, high contrast with a little brighter color. You know, usually when you shoot food, you want your color to pop a little bit more. Um, people equate color with um, how good food is, like you can think of a piece of fruit to the riper it is, the brighter the color tends to be, and so when you shoot, product photography that's related to food, you don't want to skimp on that saturation. So you'll see in a lot of these shots, they they kind of verge on an oversaturated look and then we did a lot of high contrast. So this first shot I want to show you, this was one of the very first shots I took and kind of usually when I set up a shoot, I just start taking a bunch of random shots just to kind of find my rhythm, find my flow. And uh, there was this, we got to shoot inside of this house and it had this beautiful light coming um, through this side window, like direct sunlight through this window directly onto the table. And uh, so I set up the Side Hustle Salt bottle, um, container, shaker, I don't know what you want to call it. But I set it up right in that stream of light. I really love the way that this highlights the colors and uh, highlights, like keeps the focus directly on it. So I was really happy with how that one turned out. The next photo, um, I wanted to capture like the beauty that's inherent in this salt. Like she has salt and a bunch of other seasonings. We took a bunch of photos with a bunch of different ingredients in there. Um, and I don't honestly remember what all the ingredients were, but I wanted a shot that showed down inside of the bottle and showed the texture of that salt. And so you can see in this shot here, we're looking straight down 
And uh, again, this was with the RF35. Uh, this is about as close as I could get and still get focus. This is about the, the limits of its macro capability. And honestly, I'm really impressed for a lens of, uh, of this value. And then uh, we did a bunch of other shots. This is just one, um, again, looking top down. We did a bunch of different flat lays with different ingredients and stuff. I like this one because um, usually in flat lays you don't see stuff around out of focus, but because the bottle had some height to it, allowed me to focus on the salt crystals and the seasoning bits and let the ingredients kind of like fall away into uh, the blurriness. Um, and I just, to me, I like how sharp it is in contrast with how soft the entire image is. Um, I would say this is probably not an image for everyone, um, but I did shoot, I shot a bunch of different stuff, um, but this is one I just, I like the contrast um, in that image a lot. This next image is uh, just, we took a bunch of these photos with the ingredients that go into the seasoning salt, and so this was my favorite in that uh, bunch of shots. Um, it just shows like the garlic and the peppers and the red pepper and the tomatoes and all the different stuff that goes into making the seasoning salt. And then we started getting a couple shots of using the actual salt. So this first one, um, everybody loves avocado toast even though I think avocado is just a terrible, terrible fruit. Um, people love it. And so we sliced up some avocado. If you look closely, you can see the bits of the seasoning salt falling down on top of the avocado through the white of the table. Um, I really enjoy that little touch. It looks like it's like happening in that moment. That was a more difficult shot to do than I anticipated and it didn't quite turn out the way that I wished it would have. Um, I should have brought more lighting to this shoot, um, but had I known, uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. what are you gonna do? This next shot is, again, we poured some of the seasoning salt into a bowl and I just wanted to, again, shoot the beauty of the little particles that were inside of the seasoning salt. And so this is about, again, as close up as I can and uh, really lifted up all the shadows so you could see all of the texture of that seasoning salt in there. Now the next two shots, because we are in Minnesota, this is a Minnesota product. Um, people like buying Minnesota things, so here's a flat lay with this Minnesota cut board um, it runs right across the middle of this table you can see the stripe of uh, wood texture behind the cutting board and I really like the look and the coloring of these two woods together with the white wood of the table as well um, in contrast to uh, the little little bronze spoons um, on the board so I really enjoyed this one and then the next one is the same photo but having a different perspective you know, this is something I do in every single photo shoot I do. If I'm gonna shoot something, I'm gonna shoot multiple perspectives of it. Part of it is that uh, I wanna give myself freedom in what I end up offering the end client, but it also helps build your kind of understanding of composition. And, and you can see that this portrays a much different feeling than the flat lay does. Um, flat lay you see really typically used in a lot of like product photography. Um, this one is a little, more edgy, like maybe it's not a setup photo. Maybe this is actually somebody using this product. Now it looks a little too nice and clean for that, um, but it kind of it kind of verges on that more authentic feeling uh, with this perspective here. In the last photo, again, I laid we fried an egg and then we laid it right in that little beam of light and dropped some seasoning salt on top. And it's in contrast with this uh, beautiful plate. And so this was a really, really fun photo shoot for me. I miss doing these photo shoots um, in this time when we are not really working, when we're not doing much, when we're not going out. As I've looked back through um, kind of my catalog of old photos and stuff, I found a bunch of stuff like this that I realized that I've never shared, I've never talked about. And so um, if you like this type of video, if you like seeing some of my uh, more professional photography work, um, let me know, leave a comment down below. I have more stuff like this that we could do, um, little talks and little uh, shows of, of some of the work that I've done in the past. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe. Um, subscribers is really like how we measure whether people like what we're putting out as YouTubers. And so I appreciate you considering that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.